In celebration of the 15th anniversary since Nelson Mandela signed the new South African constitution, the book One Law, One Nation charts the story for the long fight for constitutional change in South Africa and the obstacles and complexity that lay behind the constitution-making process after 1990. I think that the constitution is a very solid document. I think it is the bedrock of our society. It is our soul, as Mr Ramaphosa speaks about it. And I think we have endured many ups and downs in the past, many dark periods, many challenges. And I think we're going through a turbulent time in our history. I think there's a lot that's been contested, but I think it's been contested precisely because we have a constitution and I think it's part of our democracy that these contestations are going to arise and that we feel safe as South Africans because we have a framework within which to carry out this debate and it's a democratic framework. Having written the history, having sat with the history of this document, I am astonished how we have this document at all. We were teetering on the brink of some kind of disaster for many years and we could have gone another route. Amid widespread concern about the safety of our constitution, panellists at the book launch, some of the best legal minds in the country, including Cyril Ramaphosa, said South Africans should not be afraid. And some of the issues that are being raised are quite sensitive, they are quite touchy, and people are beginning to feel a little fearful and uh, uncertain. Uh, when the ruling party uh, is it's reported that they want a new constitution, we all get very alarmed. But one should say that, in my view, there is no need to be alarmed because this constitution belongs to all of us. It does not belong to the ruling party. It does not belong to one section of the South African population. We all wrote this constitution collectively. We wrote it with our blood. Some people wrote it with their lives. We wrote it with our tears and our sweat. I don't think, quite frankly, we should be alarmed when people say we would like to have a look at the Constitution, we would like to review. It's, we should not be afraid because being afraid means that it means that there's something fundamentally wrong in that Constitution. No Constitution can be cast in stone and uh, if you want to have a living constitution owned by the, the nation, you cannot wrap it in wool. It has to stand the test of, of public debate, and clearly there's a, a, a public debate uh, going on uh, at the moment. When the constitution was drafted, nobody claimed eternal wisdom. That is why section 45.1c provides that at least annually, there must be a constitutional discussion and review. Now, for 15 years, we have waited, 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 and now we are filled with fear and trepidation. It should not be like that. The founding values in Section 1, the Bill of Rights and the provisions that give effect to them, they sacrosanct. Mm -hmm. This talk about amending them, I think, is very, very dangerous. It's a slippery slope. It's a, it was a compromise that was struck. It was a set of values agreed upon. And I don't think that, the, that we should entertain the notion that they may or be tinkered with by evolving majorities for the time being. I think that would be a very dangerous process. Mm. On the contrary, I would suggest that the moment anybody seeks to tinker with the founding values or the Bill of Rights, that's when we ought to rise and protect the Constitution. You know, during the negotiation process, I, I got a funny nickname. They called me Comrade Breakthrough. Because each time we, we had log jams, I kept issuing statements that we have a breakthrough. And at times we didn't even have a breakthrough. <laughs> and I was not trying to pull wool over the eyes of people, but I was being very optimistic and looking forward and making sure that uh, we should all rally behind what was being done. I remain optimistic, I remain optimistic that our constitution is a constitution that is not going to be easily tempered with and uh, chucked into the dustbin. And engaging in a discussion on the constitution should not be something we fear. Yes. Mm -hmm. It may well be that some people, like young children, will want to put their fingers on the candle and find that it burns. And so they grow up. Yeah. Even those people who think that there's this provision and that provision, 
let them talk about it. And in the end, we will all, they too will all arrive at the same conclusion that we all, as the founding fathers and mothers of our constitution, arrived at.